Hey all, I have a quick, quick tip again today, and this time about project management and organization. When I open my data panel, you can start to get an idea of why you should and why I should definitely consider keeping organized. When you get this many projects, trying to find one in particular is like finding a needle in the haystack. The good news is, it's simple to get rid of those inactive projects you probably don't need anymore. Just right click on them in the data panel and hit that archive button. This will cause that project to vanish into thin air. But I'll bet a lot of you are hesitant to do this because of all these warnings and the potential downstream issues this might cause. The good news is that after you finish archiving those projects, they can be brought back from the dead. So don't let all those warnings scare you off. If, however, the project you want to remove from your data panel is yours, but instead one that you were added to, you cannot archive it, luckily for the owner. Instead, you can only leave it. That said, if you want to avoid asking your friends, coworkers, and collaborators to re-add you to the project, do so sparingly. You cannot simply unleave the project. There's probably a better word for that. While I'm on that subject, on the flip side, if you've added collaborators that you now wish to remove, you can do so from Fusion Team or the data panel. Just open the project, hit the button to view and manage members, or the people tab in the data panel, and hit the trash can or remove button. Bye, Taylor. Anyway, back to where we left off on the archive and unarchive discussion, let's show you how easy it is to bring those back from the dead. Simply go to Fusion Team, filter the projects, not by pinned, not by owned or shared with me, but by archived, obviously. Here we can find that project I decided I really wanted to continue working on. I'll use my browser's Find On Page option to help filter my growing list of archived projects. And once found, select it and restore. Back in Fusion, you should find it the next time you restart, but you can always force the refresh using the button provided. If you're wondering about the model on screen, it was created using a new Autodesk design exploration tool that will work hand in hand with Fusion 360 when it releases soon. I mostly just used it to draw you in to watch this quick tip. I hope it worked and that everyone learned something new. Cheers.